All right. Um, so I think the first thing that we want to do is just uh, do a, a quick welcome uh, of the new TSC. So the nomination and election process ran over the last two weeks. Uh, that concluded last week. That was sent out over the TSC list. Uh, but just a quick uh, readout, the new 11 TSC members are Arnaud, Bin, Chris, Dan Middleton, Greg Haskins, Hart Montgomery, Mick Bowman, uh, Morali, Richard Brown, Sheehan Anderson, and Tomasz Bloomer. So uh, for those of you returning, welcome for the new TSC members. Uh, really excited for you to uh, be participating in the TSC. Uh, with that, Chris, I will hand it over to you to get things kicked off for the day. Okay. And let me echo my <clears throat> uh, congratulations to the new TSC members and also my sincere thanks for um, uh, to the um, to the to the previous TSC and, and all their efforts. Um, I really do appreciate it, and and I think. No, your your efforts have, have helped us get to where we are. That's very important. Um, so on the agenda, we have action item review and work group update, updates. I don't think we had any proposals um, to discuss other than the um, uh, the two that are that are listed here, which is the uh, the release taxonomy. We have an update that I put out yesterday, and I think Brian has commented on, but I haven't had a chance to look at that. And then um, <clears throat> we had a proposal from Valois um, on the Hyperledger Python uh, SDK, but I think we'll have to defer that uh, that particular discussion for a week. I think that's we've already been through the discussion, and now it's up for a vote. So, um, and then uh, Brian and Todd, you have an update on discourse on the <clears throat> on, on the wiki, actually, uh, not yet. Oh, on the wiki. Oh, that's right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right, so is there anything else, uh, any other agenda items that people would like to add? Well, there's a, covering the hack fest as well at the very beginning. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry, I missed that. Yes, thank you. All right, then uh, Todd, you want to give us an update on the, the hack fest preparations? Yes, uh, so we will have a uh, final planning call with uh, ABN AMRO, Holland FinTech, et cetera, shortly after this call. Uh, from that, we'll be able to get the registration pages uh, up and live. So we suspect that'll be up by tomorrow, if not uh, by Monday at the latest, so folks can start to get registered for that. Uh, but in short, what it's going to look like is uh, right after Cybos in Geneva, October 1st and 2nd, uh, there will be a hackathon. Um, on that Saturday, Sunday, first and second, um, more of a uh, competition style. And then it'll move into a separate hack fest. Uh, and that will be like we've traditionally seen for Hyperledger. That'll be the third and the fourth. Uh, that'll be the technical face-to-face uh, -face hack fest like many folks have participated in over the last couple months. Uh, more details for that will be coming. Registration site will be uh, up in the next couple days. So everyone will have all the details that they need for that. Any any questions on either of those? I, and I just want to reinforce and encourage folks who are on the on the fence about it to try to make their way to the hack fest. Um, face to face is so it's so productive. I, I thought coming out of the the one in San Francisco to, uh, a month ago uh, was, was really empowering and, and really a lot of fun and and. Um, it'd be great to keep some of that momentum going um, and, uh, and and meet some new faces too if you haven't yet engaged this before. So any uh, any chance that you might be able to make it to Amsterdam for the third and fourth, I'd really encourage that. And, and if you can tack on the first and second, the hackathon is a you know public competition, um, and uh, I think it could be could be a lot of fun to watch too. Yep. <coughs> Any questions on the hackathon? Yeah, hi, hi Chris. I'm oh, sorry. So this is Dave Hall. I I may have just missed that, but have we we've totally canceled the virtual hackfest then? That we're just going to go on to do the uh, the Amsterdam one next? Is that true? Yeah, there were there were just too too few people around to make it worthwhile, really. Um, okay, all right. It was it was very a very light week last week, so yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, one of the things that we were looking to do is um, 
have the the white paper walk through also during that time. But if you're not going to have uh, if we're not going to have a virtual one in in the next week or two in September, then we'll probably schedule something separately. But I'll, I can work through Todd with that. Okay, super. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Um, okay, next up, uh, Todd, could you pull up the, or, or maybe paste the link in the chat um, to yes. the... Uh, yeah, one moment. Yeah, it's just uh, wiki.hyperledger.org. Um, and actually, while he's doing that, just real quick on, even though we can't vote to accept the taxonomy, I just wanted to say, Chris, thanks for taking the uh, taking this the last mile and integrating it with Denver. Um, I read it, reviewed what you've written. It looks great. I had a tiny little addition. Um, they're they're not hugely consequential, um, but uh, you know, based on that, you know, I certainly think it's ready for ready for adoption. And I was really glad to see, by the way, that Sati Flake. Um, renumbered their releases to version 0 0.6 um, from a from a 1.1 .1, uh, to to bring that into alignment. Um, so thank you. If any of the Sachi Flake folks are on the call, um, I want to thank you for, for for doing that. Yeah, actually, we chat on Slack um, after I published this with um, uh, I think Sean from uh, the Sawtooth Flake team. And their their approach is slightly different. It doesn't exactly follow this approach. Um, and then there was also a discussion around use of developer preview in the actual uh, branch name, which um, uh, I, I guess you know what what I'm thinking, Brian, is we might want to wait until Mick and Dan are back. Um, and well, we can't take a formal vote on it anyway, but. Um, and have a broader discussion around um, uh, around this, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Because um, I think, a, well, certainly from a um, from a Sawtooth Lake perspective, their I think their their approach is slightly different. And so I just I just think we want to make sure that we're all in in line. Okay. And, and I guess part of this is, you know, how much variance should we allow between projects? Um, well, there, there, there is that, and and you know, um, and we could use this as guidance. Um, but it would be nice if there were some consistency. I think. Got it. Got it. And okay. uh, thanks, thanks for for going through and and uh, for for the nits. I'll, I'll accept that. And then um, I think, <coughs> pardon me. Um, and uh, and so we'll I'll send out a reminder to review this again before uh, before next week's meeting, and then hopefully we can actually get it um, approved. Right. Okay. Um, so we can move on. Um, uh, I guess uh, 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 probably I likewise. So yeah, I think we'll skip over Bawa's proposal yeah. because uh, there's nobody here to vote, and go right to the wiki then. Right. So we have a, an empty wiki up uh, at wiki.hyperledger.org. It uses uh, Dopu Wiki. Um, which uh, folks will be happy to hear, since there was some demand for it. Those support Markdown as a as a tool to, to edit edit a page. It is completely empty. It was set up a few days ago, and I've not had a chance to, to go in and start adding adding anything into it. Nor is Todd. Um, but your um, Linux Foundation ID works, and uh, we have enabled for every logged in user the ability to create. New pages. Um, so, uh, if so, we are actually at a point where we can test this out, where we can try adding some content. I would say let's let's give folks a chance to kick the tires, um, see if there's any major issues with with the software or the install, um, uh, and then if it looks good, we can start the process of migrating content into it from the various uh, GitHub wikis. Um, how does how does that sound, everyone? 
I I think that sounds good, um, and I'm glad we've we've got that sorted out because I think we can then move off of um, GitHub entirely, as opposed to being sort of straddling and worrying about where to put things. I think it'll be good to have it all in the same place. Um, Let's say for the next week, um, it's open season. Go in, put up content. Uh, yeah. Don't clip anything you don't have uh, copyright to. <laughs> uh, um, you know, uh, but uh, yeah. but, but you know, feel free to copy text over from from GitHub or go ipso lorem da 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 whatever. Um, but but play around with editing it, play around with searching on it, that sort of thing. And then let's say by next Thursday, by this call, if we all say this looks good, then we'll, um, we'll start the process of migrating content over. And I think my team can help with that. Um, you know, we certainly have an interest in high quality wiki, but we don't yep. want to be exclusive about it. So, um, uh, so one, one thing I was going to maybe suggest, Brian, is that maybe we want to um, actually have some editors uh, that we could count on to sort of keep it tidy and to highlight any potential abuses and so forth. And it is actually a really good point. Um, uh, uh, having at least a few people who um, are crazy like me and subscribe to email notifications of changes. Um, yeah, looking at this now and want to make sure that that's actually possible. Um, uh, and I haven't yet, so but that's, that's something for me to check into. But um, having a set of people who follow all changes to the wiki to watch the spam, um, but also to, to make sure that edits are of acceptable quality um, is actually pretty important. Um, hopefully there'd be a way to be able to watch uh, specific pages or specific groups of pages, um, uh, but uh, let's, let's dive into that and see what's possible. Um, and agree that if it doesn't have that, that's a, a big deal, and we need to find a fix for that. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that, and then um, I would suggest uh, that what I do is put out a, a call for for editors, and people can volunteer, and then we can just look to them to sort of help keep it tidy and, and policed. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> So this is Arnold. Right. Just a quick question regarding the migration. Uh, are you expecting to have some automatic way of doing this, or do you expect to do that manually? I don't believe that there is an easy automated way that that I would have confidence in to be able to migrate the content over. Um, uh, I've not looked at this yet, but I am led to believe that because it supports Markdown. Um, it should be easier to migrate content over. We're not talking about having to reformat pages and make lots of deep, deep edits to them. I'm hoping, um, but uh, uh, that there there will have to be a page by page cut and paste, um, and uh, uh, that you know that'll be laborious when it comes to things like meeting notes. Um, if uh, if we've been posting those in the wiki, I forget if we have. Um, uh, so you know we'll we'll take on some of that work. Um, on on the side of my staff and the side of my team because we do want to see this uh, you know uh, working nice uh, from a from you know in the in, to the degree that it supports the processes that we use at Hyperledger um, but uh, uh, what we should probably do is maintain a, a a table somewhere of the pages that are yet to be migrated um, and and make sure that we distribute the task of, of doing that and, and some, you know knock them off. So maybe a way to, to do this, because I know that Todd was, for instance, going to move the minutes um, and the TSC page. Um, but maybe if people have content that they've been maintaining in the wiki, if they could take some responsibility to migrate it, that would maybe be one way of approaching this. Um, that would certainly help. And we could even probably <coughs> Automated ways to to figure out who has touched the various wikis over mm. and and just send reminder notes and then as the as things flesh out maybe set a target date of okay this is when we're going to cut over and um, uh, make sure to have content migrated and then finally we should probably over on the GitHub side uh, kind of wipe that clean so it doesn't become stale. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, so the, 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 
The downside of that approach is that it tends to punish the people who actually contributed already content. But uh, I actually happen to agree with that, and I know I I authored several documents in the wiki, and I'd be happy to volunteer to you know migrate those. So like the cut of conducts and stuff like that. Don't do any migration yet. We'll assume you know for, uh, uh, between here and next week it's open season. Um, but do start if you have time in the next week. Um, do dive into the wiki and start hammering on it and see what's possible. Okay. This is obviously open to everyone else in this call. And, yeah, and I think I think that's the the, the, the good uh, the best approach, Brian, is to sort of play with it this, and then uh, we'll we'll work out and we can talk about a specific strategy for how to move to other pieces. Okay. Cool. Okay, work group. Uh, updates requirements. Is Oleg on? Uh, Oleg is not able to join. He did just send me a couple quick updates. Uh, he said that the draft of the privacy section of the requirements document is now on the wiki. Uh, and then the other update was that Oleg is currently working on the collateral management use case. And if any questions, um, I'll have people direct them to Oleg. Cool. Thank you. Any questions? Well, <laughs> yeah. Any questions? Send them to Oleg. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ram, uh, architecture work group. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, architecture work group. We're making uh, slow but uh, steady progress on uh, two tracks. Uh, so we're uh, still uh, fleshing out the uh, architecture doc, at least the two sections that we have uh, worked on. Um, and uh, somewhat com converged on. And as we go through documenting it, we are finding issues that need to be kind of discussed further before. <laughs> uh, and it's not just uh, turning out to be just uh, uh, writing it down um, neatly. It's, uh, it, it turns out that we're raising some issues that need to be resolved as well. Uh, and on the uh, security doc, we're just getting started uh, with identifying uh, the uh, the functional requirements for the identity and policy layers, and we are focusing on uh, bootstrap and identity of what we're calling system entities, that's validators, endorsers, uh, and so forth. Uh, and we thought we would address that first, uh, that that uh, simpler problem, before we move on to uh, uh, identity in general for uh, um, val uh, for other transactors and so forth. Um, that's pre pretty much where we are. It's, it's slower because uh, participation uh, over the last few weeks has been slower uh, as we work through the summer doldrums. That's that's it for yeah. any questions. It has definitely been <laughs> a slow summer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Ram. Any questions for Ram? All right. Next up is Dave. Hi, yes. Uh, so for the white paper working group, um, you know, I, I guess our, our next um, most immediate objective is to get the paper ready for CYBOS. So I understand Hyperledger Projects is going to have a booth at CYBOS September 26th through 29th. We would like to be able to have the paper in a form where we can actually remove draft from, from the label. And, um, you know, some of the things I think leading up to being able to do that, one is that we wanted to hold the uh, a walkthrough of the paper, as I sort of mentioned at the start of the call. And uh, so we'll uh, um, we'll work with Todd, get uh, an invitation out to people uh, for that. It will, it will follow a very similar format to what we're doing here. There'll be a go-to meeting. We'll, we'll, um, we'll go through the white paper section by section. We're not going to be reading it straight out, of course. We're going to just pretty much describe the the purpose of each section and maybe point out a couple of uh, uh, key passages that kind of, you know, uh, demonstrate that, you know, this is what we're tending each section to do and then open it up for, for comment and feedback. Um, so, so that's going to be important, getting that uh, walkthrough done. Um, and, you know, another thing that I think we want to add to the document that isn't actually in there is pointing out that, um, you know, this is going to be a living document. Uh, of course, you know, this is a rapidly evolving space, this technology, and, and as 
as we're making new decisions, new discoveries, uh, the, even though we're removing draft from it, we don't, you know, we want to make it clear that this is something that we expect it's going to go through multiple revisions as, as you know, the technology underneath it um, uh, will be evolving as well. So uh, I think we'll we'll see some additions to the paper describing a bit of that, maybe some expansion of the glossary. But really, the key thing is making sure that we've had enough people reviewing it and given it thoughtful um, consideration and 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 an opportunity to get um, the, their thoughts uh, feedback into the paper so that we can, you know, again, remove that draft label and have it ready for the, the CYBOS um, uh, event. I think that's it. Any, if anyone else on the team wants to point out anything I forgot, um, please go ahead. Otherwise, I think that's it. Great. Thanks, Dave. Any comments or questions for Dave? And Dave, I do owe you, I've actually got a marked up version that I need to just finish the last bit, and then I'll, I'll shoot that off to you. Okay, great, and I'll share it with the rest of the team. Okay, um, next up is Chris, but I don't think I saw him on. Okay, and then finally it's um, CI and that's me. And uh, <clears throat> so we've, um, you know, we've obviously made the transition over to Garrett and uh, we've had a few, uh, it's, it's been a, bit, a little bit bumpy from a, uh, from a build perspective and I think there was a, a combination of things we had tried to upgrade something in the fabric that was causing some problems with uh, the protobuf generation. Um, but we also had some problems with mirrors. We were picking up either bad mirrors or having mirrors not um, reachable, which caused a number of bad builds. But I think we've worked through that. Um, and I think we have mostly green going on these days. So hopefully we're past all of that. Um, <clears throat> And um, I think there's a, there's a couple more things we need to, to, to move over um, into Garrett and, and get married and so forth, but uh, I'll deal with that next week when Rye gets back. Um, but I think we're, we're mostly past all the, the bumps and uh, hopefully things will settle out. Um, we, cut, we cut a new release from the fabric yesterday, release uh, version 6. Uh, 0 0.6 rather, and um, and we'll be working over the course of the next two, three weeks prior to CYBOS to harden that so that we can have something um, to talk about at CYBOS. Beyond that, there's really not much more to report. <laughs> Great. No, really? Uh, yep, that, just, that just ran a minute ago. I hit that. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. <laughs> the, uh, the mirror revert patch is ready to go, though, so we can put that in whenever. Uh, I mean, I, I'm assuming yeah. that fixes it. I don't know for sure. but Boom, boom, boom. Three in a row. Great. <laughs> okay. Well... <clears throat> I have one one last announcement before we uh, before we wrap up the meeting. Um, if we're ready. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, we had a grand total of one nomination for the chair for the TSC, um, and uh, I think that's partly due to the fact that the current chair is actually does does a excellent job <laughs> uh, at 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 it, um, and uh, and, I, and I think is. Uh, clearly um, puts uh, so much effort into it, it perhaps was daunting to other people to consider the task. Um, but uh, uh, I think given given that there is one nomination, um, we can go straight to uh, an appointment and say um, thank you, Chris, for um, uh, uh, continuing, if you accept, um, hopefully you do, um, as the chair of the TSC until the next election. 
thanks. I see a plus one from Greg. <laughs> and Hart. Super. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. And thanks, Chris. It really is a lot of work, everyone. Um, uh, Chris uh, has been balancing this with so many other commitments, and uh, it, it's been really excellent to work with. And uh, um, uh, I just, I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, uh, looking forward to continuing to pick up. Thank you, Chris. Cool. All right. Well, we'll soldier on. But uh, I guess uh, what we can do is we can give everybody an hour back today, which is going to be, uh, I think, a godsend to a lot of people. I know me. <laughs> I had to miss much of this yeah. morning, so I have a little bit of catch-up to do. Yeah. Um, but we'll kick back into high gear once uh, once summer is over and no one has that excuse anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lots of fun stuff coming Thanks, up. Everyone. Talk to everyone soon. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye.